What up? What's good? What's poppin'? What's going on? It's your boy Lynx and welcome back. So we're in 2020 now and at the end of last year I picked up a few hot joints. But got a little busy, was unable to put out videos for those. I figured I'd put together one video, showcase them all, do a little quick overview. So let's not waste any more time, let's get straight to it. Alright, so here you go. These are the four joints I picked up at the end of last year. I'm not going to go into any crazy details on, on any particular one, but if there's one that you really like and if I get enough comments down below, um, I'll do a video solely on that sneaker, a little more detail. I'm just going to give a little quick overview. Alright, so we're going to start with this one here, which is the Air Max. I'll tell you exactly what the top of the name is. It's the Air Max One Sketch to Self otherwise known as the schematic I, I thought these were cool I really wanted a black ones to these I missed out on them I, I actually missed out on these the first time they released and then um, in the sneaker app they just popped up it just had a, like a, I guess a second run um, I don't know if it was a large run or whatever it was like found left over and I just jumped on it um, haven't worn these yet but um, I love the details on this so it's meant to look like when you're sketching up a sneaker you know without the without the colors and um, just the detailing and the outline if you look real close you can see right in everywhere in different sections um, where they lay out the sizes um, maybe the materials that you're gonna use you know so on and so forth um, some numbers here that I'm not sure what they all mean but is, is basically a schematic and as you see on the inside it says schematic property of Nike not for resale um, on the inside of the bottom it says scale one one of one or one to one scale one to one um, yeah so it's all white with a little black outline and um, that I think this is really cool I love the bottom this like clear I'm gonna say icy because it's not blue but clear um, outsole and you can see underneath the outsole you can see details again of the outline of the sneaker I thought that was that's really dope white laces black tips real clean love these one day I'll rock it all right so we're gonna move on back here and these are give you the right detailing on them Air Jordan 4 Retro SE, but these are the what they call the what the fours. So there's a mix of a few sneakers, a few different Jordan 4 sneakers. I'm not sure if there's any Jordan 3 mixed into this, but there's definitely a few Jordan sneakers mixed in here. We got some cement um, Jordan design here. The back of this one is blue. I think the back of the other one is, is red. So I'm gonna take those out. And, and make you take a look at both feet because I think because I know that um, that's kind of what's unique about these, this sneaker is the fact that each sneaker is slightly different in its color so, so yeah so this one is blue and the back of this one is gray with black Nike check uh, Nike logo this is white Nike logo the, the tongue this one has the blue um, Jordan Flight logo. This one has red, a black outline, black background, and red logo, white background, blue logo. So instead of the cement on, on like this one, this one has black, and the cement on the back actually. So it's not just gray. There's a lot of mixed details. Red on the inside of this tongue, blue on the inside of this tongue. The eyelets are blue on this one, gray and red on this one, and blue and black. Jeez, everywhere is different blue on the inside of this mesh black on this one um, the outsoles slightly different red on the top of this 
gray on the top of that, gray after that, black, red at the bottom, gray hair. Oof, it's a lot. Um, the inside of this one is red, inside of this one is gray, but the, the sole, the in, insole is black with a red logo, and the insole of this one is red with black logo. So it's that's why they call what the four is like what the what the hell you know whatever oh and the inside also has Air Jordan on this one and, and with white background red text white background with black text what the fours old school plastic hang tag pretty dope all right moving on up here this is the Jordan 1's part of the Fearless pack. So this one is the Air Jordan 1 High Zoom Fearless. So as you, if you didn't see my previous video when I did the Fearless Air Jordan 1's patent leather, I had the Chicago and the University Blue, Chicago Red University Blue, you can check that up right here. These, um, wow, out of the bunch, these are one of my favorites. I think this one is my all-time favorite. And this is one of my favorites because I love 3M Reflective. And you might not be able to see it right away or notice it or really understand that these are reflective. They look black. Um, what's the eggplant purple, maybe? Like a, yeah. And, um, but they're reflective. They look very simple, like one tone, monotone, but when the light hits them, I'm gonna throw up an image, these reflect, and this is so dope. Um, got the fearless tag on the side, black with white, and it has the, the quote that Jordan wrote. If you wanna know more about that quote, click the link up above, like I said, and check out that previous video. So apart from the fact that these are all reflective, they have the zoom, I think that's what it's called, the zoom insole. Or, yeah, the zoom, yeah. So they have like a, the zoom insole, and this is this is this is nice. It's soft. It's not like your typical Jordan 1. It is very cushiony. It feels so comfortable. So as you see at the bottom here, it's, it's clear, icy. It goes from red to blue or red to clear I think it's like a red to blue and underneath you can see Z's and I guess that's for the zoom air and the inside oh my gosh they're so comfortable so cushy it's black on the inside with the red zoom air one thing they did a little different not a big fan of it is the tongue it's also reflective but it's so it's the same kind of pattern leather material I wish they used the standard fat, uh, puffy, padded tongue that they usually use. But so they're trying something different. But um, overall, I like these things. These pop. And, um, yeah, so that's the Zoom, not Air Jordan 1. Zoom. Zoom. Fearless. So we got over here a sneaker that I've been looking to get for a long time. I finally got him. We got the Air Jordan 1 Retro. Black and red. These are classic. These are, clearly these are re-released and not the first release, not the original, but so I've, been, I've been trying to get my hands on these for a long time. I finally got my hands on them. Uh, missed out on the releases many times. I finally got my hands on these. It's self-explanatory. Hot red, black, red bottom, classic. Yeah, I'm still hunting for the the space jams. One day maybe I'll get those and I'll be complete in life when it comes to sneakers. But yeah. So these are the four, and um, yeah, it was a good end of last year. So like I said, leave a comment down below if you want to see any any particular one in, in great detail. I could go into more details and 
break him down, but um, this was a quick overview and a close-up look at of, um, a couple joints that I picked up. And um, like I said, like, subscribe, share with a friend. Let me know what you liked about this video. If you didn't like something, let me know if you want me to, like I said, get a little more in-depth in, in any of these sneakers, and I'll do that for you. Until next time, peace. So these are the only ones that I actually wore already. I wore these maybe two or three times. I keep forgetting that I own both of these. I didn't want to take them out of the box. Now they're going in the clear box. Now remember that I have them. I'll probably wear them soon. I don't know when I'm going to wear this because you got to ride the right, right outfit. And these are kind of like a nice pair of jeans. Kind of easy to throw those on. Do I want to wear these? I don't even know if I want to wear them. Definitely rocking those. It's something cool. It's something interesting.